Kids are putting their culinary skills to the test during restaurant week at Plum's Cooking Company in Sioux Falls. In tonight's Positively Kettle Land, Travis Fossing gives us a taste of what the teens are whipping up during this week-long camp. Fifteen teenagers are learning the basics of restaurant quality dishes during this Kids in the Kitchen summer camp event at Plum's Cooking Company. We take some of these kids' interest in food, maybe expand their horizons, maybe have them try to both create as well as taste something that they've never done before. Chef Michael Charpentier attended culinary school in the Pacific Northwest and began teaching at Plum's two years ago. Today's lesson is Chinese cuisine. We're going to talk about some of the different regions of China, um, Sichuan province, Hunan province, and try and be respectful of that, uh, being as how we are in the Midwest and we're not in China. But Restaurant week has also included bakery items and diner breakfast, and everyone has their favorites. Dutch babies and potato pancakes. So far, I'd probably have to say the Dutch baby. 13-year-old Quinn Boos has been cooking for about three years after receiving a cookbook for Christmas. I mostly just wanted to learn different types of food and how they're prepared. Charpentier says there's one distinct difference between teaching kids and adults. Kids are more adventurous. The kids definitely seem to be a little bit more enthusiastic sometimes to just kind of dive in in a sort of fearless manner, whereas parents have a tendency to be a little bit more self-conscious and trepidatious. Whatever the age, Passion is key when it comes to cooking. More often than not, it has to be a, pa a passion and a desire to both learn, taste new things, share those things that you've learned and that you've tried with the people that you care about. With Positively Kelloland, I'm Travis Fossing. The kids will end restaurant week on Friday by learning how to create sushi. We provided a link to the list of classes offered at Plum's Cooking Company under this story on kelloland.com.